Bye, Kevin. You be good. on my way to my brother's house. We're gonna be hopping in with him and his boat and uh, yeah, we're gonna be fishing our local river for some, I'm thinking panfish for sure, or that's what we're gonna be harvesting anyways. And uh, yeah, we might uh, do some fun fishing for some bass also or something like that. But yeah, stay tuned y'all. We only got like a 10 minute drive and we're gonna be at my brother's house and yeah, probably just uh, see you guys at the lake or something like that. Let's go. What's up, boy? Damn, Rye. That cutoff really brings out your dumper. <laughs> We are starting out uh, on the harvest mission, and just in case you guys are curious, I'm going to be starting out with just a 1 8 little Euro Tackle tungsten. And I got my homie Leo's little EPF minnow on there. Hopefully, uh, the panfish are gonna be doing this, and hopefully, the panfish are here. Anyways, stay tuned. There was the first cast of the day. Uh, hopefully, these things are gonna be doing it. Ryan, this is spot. I hope so. Me too. Crappie? Yep. Crappie! Little small? Ow. Jesus. But he just insta freaking drew blood. Got me scared now. What do you think, Ryan? Let this little guy go? You keeping fish today? I'm gonna keep four for my catch and cook, but I'm gonna let this guy go for good luck. But dang, that little guy got me. Hey, first fish got the skunk out of the boat ride. That didn't take very long. Right. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I missed him. better one that's a keeper right huh that was deep dude what was that? yeah that was deep that was closer to the bottom you got that live wheel ripping yep. let's go guys and there we go y'all first keeper of the day let's go ahead and do that three more times we're gonna have ourselves a freaking awesome meal yep they're deep dude just a little guy but they're just like right here
better. Big. Not big, but like better. Another eater. Dude, I let that pendulum down the bottom and was slowly just barely moving it. That's a freaking dandy. Harvest. Bam. So literally y'all, as you've just seen, I cast it out. I'm pretty much just letting, I'm just holding my line here and let, letting it pendulum to bottom. Once it kind of hits bottom, I'm just reeling it up and doing the same exact thing, just barely moving it, letting it hit bottom. And then once I'm getting to the middle here, I'm just kind of slowly moving my tip up and down. And that seems to be helping a little bit too. I got one, see? Another nice one, eater. Oh, maybe not, a little small, a little small. Crappie fishing, crappie fishing with my brother who has a mullet. And that mullet looks good. Man, if that ain't another keeper, <laughs> I don't know what is. I think that's four already, but I'm not gonna lie. These aren't like the hugest fish and I'm pretty sure B-Rock's gonna be at the place tonight. So we're gonna keep one more. We're going for five crappies instead of four. Got him! Sun's feeling decent. And that right there, y'all. Oh yeah, dude, that's an eater. That is the fifth and final eater. That is sick. All right, Joe, we got our five eaters out of the way. I think we're going to uh, change spots now, maybe go for some bigger crappies to catch and release, and then we might go for some bass fishing a little bit later too. So just stay tuned. If we catch something cool, we'll show you. And yeah, let's go. Little matte bass there. Right. Not bad. Welcome back, y'all. That was freaking fun as crap. Thanks for bringing me, right? What's that? Thanks for bringing me. Yeah, no problem. That was fun. Anyways, stay tuned, y'all. We just have to run back to Ryan's house. I'm going to hop back in my truck, and we're going to head to the Fishermore headquarters and clean these suckers up and get them frying. Fish and more headquarters, and I totally forgot that uh, I'm like redoing my kitchen right now at the Fish and More headquarters, and the whole kitchen is like all the cupboards are taken apart. There's just stuff everywhere. So we're going to be doing a little tailgate catch and cook today. We're gonna be cooking and eating the crappies outside today, which might be gnarly because the bugs are definitely out. Awesome crappies. Little update, y'all. We had to go.
go throw on the sweatpants because the mosquitoes are just so gnarly. But just have to get the skin off of all these plays and we are all good to go. We are back, y'all. We got the crappies all washed up and chunked up into perfect little niblets. Next, we got to take our blue heat Takis and I'm going to put them into this baggie and literally just like beat the crap out of them for a good five minutes. Quick taste test. Kind of weird. Dude, these mosquitoes are pretty bad. Cooking this might suck. Alright. That looks pretty legit. Not as blue as I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a lot more blue. First things first, y'all, we're gonna get some grease boil and peanut oil for the dub. Also, as you can see, I've been using a lot of uh, pots lately. I feel like it's been working a lot better for frying the fish. Just gonna take our fish. Oh, I'm gonna dump it right in there. Oh, we got a few holes in the bag. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> How weird is that, y'all? This is probably gonna be the weirdest catch and cook we have done, y'all. But I need a plate really quick. Stay tuned. Once that grease is ready, we're gonna get them dumped in. Oh yeah. Alright. The moment of truth. First batch looks so weird. Oh, this looks gross. <laughs> looks like freaking pond scum or something like that. <laughs> it smells super different. Like, super different. First batch. I think some of these pieces are done. And they. <laughs> they look weird, I'm not gonna lie. They do not look very good. Second batch going in. Dudes, like, not even kidding. These look so weird. I'm gonna wait to try them though until they're all done. And Brock's here too. He's in the house uh, chilling. Once they all get done, I'm gonna go get him too and have him come taste test it for us. y'all there there is the final products blue tea tackies i'm gonna go get b-rock let's 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 give this stuff the ultimate taste test <laughs> dude wait till you see these things say hi b-rock what up what up b-rock's here y'all how's golfing what he went golfing by himself bad. today shot pretty solid yeah what is this even about dude <laughs> we're gonna have brock give the first official just going right in, huh? Okay, the hold on, hold on, don't say nothing. I know, I've been out here, I've been out here cooking in them. I'm gonna go into it. It is not crappy. No. It's like, good. I don't even know what it tastes like. Like, it 
just tastes like fish. It tastes like lemony fish. Yeah. Literally, it tastes like original fish recipe. No yeah, like original. way. Yeah. The aftertaste is like the aftertaste of a taki, though. It's like that. Yeah, but you taste the lemon lime. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's not the flavor. But let me just see what these taste like. They're good. Dude, yeah. this is bomb. Mm hmm. Yeah. Dude, I'm blown away. Straight up. I thought this was going to be gross. It's bomb. Dude, honestly, I thought they were going to be, like, kind of soggy, too. Listen. Oh, I guess you can't. They're not soggy. They're, like, perfect. Perfect little nuggets. Dude, crush this if you're into it. Oh, yeah. That's you weird, our table, dude. Though, man. I know. Should we, like, take this into the living room? This is bad. Let's go. Go ahead and grab those toppings. Mm -hmm. I'll come clean uh, this up after. Dude, cool. those mosquitoes outside are no joke. Terrible, man. Worst I've ever seen them. Well, dudes, I think on that note, I think we're going to end this video here. I am totally impressed. I thought this was not going to be a very good idea. I thought it was going to taste like... I don't, know, I don't know what I thought it was going to taste like, but I definitely thought it was going to taste weird. Dude, do I have bug bites all over my face? Probably. Because I am so itchy. One more time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button. Do me a favor and comment down below, like, your favorite part or just like comment like literally anything just to uh help us out with the youtube algorithm the more comments every video gets the more youtube likes to push out the videos and you guys have been crushing it lately like straight up this is probably the best summer we have ever had as far as like youtube wise we've been pretty much staying steady just whooping butt since the beginning of last winter so yeah thanks for that without further ado y'all we're peacing out uh i have no clue what we're doing next but stay tuned we'll, we'll have another video for y'all in three four days see you then